Hello, Kieran from Glitch Free Gaming here. You may know me as approach me in other places than the internet. Uh, we're back to play more Mario Maker 2. A little bit of a gap between the previous episodes and this one, but you know, I wanted to get back to it because people seem to enjoy it, and I enjoy playing Mario Maker. Uh, first up, we're going to play Thwomp Cave by Forests. Uh, forest on the form, I believe, as well. I already played this one. I think this will be the only one that I've already played. I just wasn't sure if I was going to record more videos, and so I was like, hey, I should play some of these. Because they're fun. Um, oh yeah, I have played this one. Because I died to that so many times. This level's pretty good. All these levels are pretty good. I'm going to call it ahead of time. Oops, that was silly. I am using a slightly different setup to what I've been doing before. Um, same capture card. That's dumb. That's odd. Um, so instead of using the... Oh, god damn it. Instead of using the 8 M30 that I was using before, I'm now using another 8 controller. The G-Bros controller. Which is... Based on a little adapter, they primarily made it for Smash Brothers because it has a GameCube port on one side. So it lets you wirelessly connect GameCube controllers to your Switch. But I don't really care about GameCube controllers. I am using it to use the Super Nintendo Mini Classics uh, Super Nintendo controllers. One, because they're quieter. Too because I mean, the Super Nintendo controllers are just really good controllers. Um, but yeah, the, the G Bros basically has like a GameCube port on one side and then the Nunchuck port on the other. So I got it for Smash Brothers, like everyone else did. Only I got it to use the Wii Classic controller because that's my preferred Smash Bros controller because I'm crazy. Not even the version that has the grippy handles, just the original. Oh, I don't think I actually went this way last time. There's another, you can go up above and bounce across everything and basically cheat. Oh. Oh god, I need to be quick. Oh, you can go up top and skip some of it, like that last little platform bit. Which I did last time. Not too hard though. Good little level. So next up we have Out of Sync by user Etfin on the forum, or Lydum on here. Uh, I had a weird bug there where I searched the course ID and it couldn't find the course, so that's why we're doing it from this little menu instead. Uh, you may know Etfin from creating that Ghost Factory monstrosity we played in the last episode. <laughs> uh, they actually said in the forum that the way I completed it of going up and left is not the intended thing. You're supposed to fall left as you come out the door then jump. I just skipped the door entirely. I like that level so I'm hoping this is good as well. Out of sync. Oh god. Oh no. Well that was a dumb first jump. Alright, this time though. This level's already scary. I don't know how hard it's gonna be, but it's definitely scary. Oh no. Oh, that was stupid. If and you've made another monstrosity. This is against nature. This is very smart. I'll give you that much. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this. The timing on it's so weird. You just made a thing that has weird timing. It's like the most evil platforming thing. Oh, that was silly. I have no one to blame myself for that one. Nope. Damn it. 
<sighs> I need patience. That's not patience. That's not patience either. This time. Oh, no, this time I'll mess it up as well. Beat this one. I keep jumping too early. Right, so that one hits. Oh, that was. It's a rhythm that I don't think I'm physically capable of getting. Nope, too early. It takes quite a while to reset after that one. So it's like, ugh. It's like it switches once. And then quickly again. And that was, no, nope, that was too slow. quickly and then this one's quick as well and then slow and that was too slow I'm not making any progress uh, to... uh, I can't get the timing on this at all Probably not even that hard, it's just messing with me. This is just a cruel, cruel level. I found the ghost house monstrosity way easier than this. Nope, too early. I'm getting too impatient because of the speed of the previous ones, but they're literally out of sync. So those are instant. This one's slower. This one's kind of slower. This one's very slow. Right, that's too fast. So the one after that red one's also quite slow. All right, there it goes. There's a snake block up there. I just need to reach that. I've messed this up instantly. <sighs> so stressing me out. Let's go have a nice relax in Night of Mario Maker. And here we are. Too quick for this one. Yep. It's always that one. I can consistently get up to that blue one. Unless I do that. Almost consistently. Ah, that's... Okay, I need to go to Snake Block, because after that they just switch instantly. I think there's a thing up there that like, fires a shell. That's cruel. This whole level. It's not some of the meanest level I've ever played. Definitely the most mean one I've played on this series. So there's something to go quick here. <laughs> do I need to do this? Oh, that was a waste. I bet I needed that. 
I was hoping it would kill the shell. Oh, I messed up here. Please let me click back on. Haha, <laughs> messed that up. I think I did need to hit the shell with a power block. Break the whole thing, but it didn't work. Uh, I'm so bad at this. It's impressive how just making these be slightly out of sync is enough to make this so much harder. It's a very smart contraption. Ah, oh, too quick. That's fine. It's not fine. Oh, it's fine. Oh, we survived. We improvised. We made it. I just... Oh my god, I have to throw it like in it. How am I meant to do this? Maybe I need to go right up to it with the power block. Maybe that's not the use of the power block at all. Alright. We're making progress. That's the important thing. Where does this land right on here? Ah! Hey, first death there, apparently. No one's been stupid enough to die to that shell before. Breaking your grounds and stupidity, at least. Someone's got to do it. Ah! <laughs> Alright. This time. Sorry for the sniffling, by the way. I'm sure that will show up in the microphone. But it is hay fever time. And so I'm weak. Alright. Here we go. This one, then this one, and then we wait a couple of seconds, and then we go here, and then we go up here, and then we don't run off it like an idiot. We jump here. We don't run directly into the shell. We do that. And so that one we think is partially in there to stop you stealing that spring, I think. Because maybe I can break stuff. Oh god, does this block it? No, I'm an idiot. Ah, bugger. I try not to swear on this sh these videos, but... It's bugger count. I imagine most of my audience is American, and so... You know, bugger's just a very English swear. It's not even that Scottish, really. It doesn't really count. It's barely a swear word. But that's by Scottish rules, where a lot of swear words are barely swear words. We have a very diverse swearing language. This is it, this is gonna be the run. As a famous giant. Ah! I ballsed it up. Alright, let's just try it. Wait, what? Oh, I really messed this up now. Let's just try and time it. Cheat. Nope. I was hoping I could just land on the block and instantly hold up and do the, the coolest landing. I'm really bad at that power block. I don't need to just, no, I need to be patient. I get too impatient now just because I know how to do this bit. It's not new. None of it's new, to be honest. I got it. 
Oh, but I get impatient and make silly mistakes. That's what happens. Once you figure out part of a level, you end up making silly mistakes at the parts that you've figured out. Because you're like, hey, I can I wanna get to the bit that's, you know, unfinished. Okay. Here we go. Take your time with her block. Run up. Be careful not to get hit by the shell. Kill the shell. Do this. You kinda don't actually need to do this. I need it to hit the... There you go. Oh no! Ah, oh, that's annoying. So if you're high enough, the bottom one doesn't trigger. So you have to hit the button yourself. But then when you hit the button yourself, it does trigger and it turns it back off again. That's a pain. Oh, that's too early. But I can still make it. That recovery. This is a smart level that I think Does this out of sync refer to those things being out of sync with each other, or does it refer to the top of the screen being out of sync with the bottom? How deep does this go, Ethan? So, I need this. And let's go undo it, and then I do this, and then I need to do this. Did it. That was a fun level. That was nonsense. I bet someone better than me could beat that much quicker. And we will find out in a second. Oh god. 30, you know, 10 seconds isn't that bad. That's, um... Oh, I forget their name. Eve something? Um, I'm sorry for forgetting your username. It's another Waypoint user. Cool idea. Alright, on to the next one. What a happy coincidence. I'm not rigging this, I'm literally just pulling these up in the order they were posted in the forum. So, Eve Secret was a name that I couldn't remember. Uh, also known as Donut Secret on the forum. And we have Wet Dry Woods. How do you like your Mario's wet or dry? That's worrying. What's also worrying is this red light flashing from this g -Bros thing. Which implies the battery's low. And I have no replacements. So, that is the one downside of this controller, or this adapter. It uses AAA batteries. Ah! No, inbuilt rechargeable ones like everything else these days. Alright. Mario 3D World, let's do this. Let's swim. I assume the water's going to go up and down. Yeah. That's definitely what the name implied. Looks really should have went on the first time. I feel like this game is way stricter with the like the spawning than the previous one was. So things like those two blocks at the end there clearly just hadn't spawned and that's why they didn't rise of the water. Which I feel like wouldn't have happened in the previous game. I mean it definitely wouldn't have happened in the previous game because there was no rise of water. But I mean other than that obviously. I feel like I never experienced a thing in the previous game where, you know, shells or something just despawned when they were, or didn't spawn in when they were right there. Here. Oh, so the whole level, I guess, has the option to be underwater or overwater. That's pretty cool. It's a good use of the rising and falling water. Good. Oh no, I'm not good. I lied. Oh no, 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 no. Stay away from me, stupid fish. That fish will one hit kill you if it gets you with its mouth open. It will just swallow you and kill you. I don't know if this is what the use of this is for, but you're dead. It's all mine. Well, almost. I'm being reckless. Alright. 
mid waypoint. It's a cool level so far. I wonder if I need those blocks. Oh no. Oh, is this just so I can swim? Get away from Cat Bowser. I hope he doesn't have a key. Is he following? Oh god, he's following. Oh, he has a key. Bowser is a pain in the butt. He can just show up from anywhere, do whatever the hell he wants. Shoot fireballs for some reason. I wish doing all these blocks so I can swim faster. All the power blocks right on the other side of this, isn't it? Alright. Let's try to just hit him the first time around. Let's get the hell out of here. here. Oh. That was unnecessary, but it looked cool. I like these clear tubes. You can call them tubes. They're very clearly pipes. It's a very famous thing. I feel like calling everything tubes is a very Scottish thing, though. Oh no. Die. Surely it should be three hits. That's how this goes. It's like basic Mario. Come on, Bowser. Nope. Oh, go away, Bowser. I was wrong. I don't want you here. Damn it. I'm definitely with the items. Yeah, see how annoying Cat Bowser is? Oh, I'm so gonna die. Is that him? Oh my god, I did it. Lost. This has to be the end, right? Alright, round two. Fireworks and everything. We did it. We're heroes. That was a cool level. That's a good use of the rising, lowering water levels. Every level played so far has been great. Alright, let's leave a comment and like it. Good job, Eve Secret. I overused this cool idea on, but it was a cool idea. All right, next up we have Baby's First Dungeon by FM Capper or Mickey on the forum. It's a Super Mario World dungeon level. They said there's some kind of like surprise at the beginning. The clear is pretty high though, so I'm not too scared of it. Is the surprise that this is crazy? I assume the surprise that you can make this fall, maybe? And maybe there's something else? Oh god. Ah! Wait. Is the surprise that the level's really short? <laughs> They weren't joking about these first dungeon. It was easy. Hmm. Let's try again. How do I fall down here? Ah, uh, we've got some stuff down here. 
some optional stuff. So if you're good, you can just get through and skip the level, which is kind of funny. Oh, but if you want to come down and actually do the level, it's actually all down here. Okay. Oh god. That's pretty cool. Although I'd make the top bit a bit harder. Because <laughs> it's pretty straightforward as is. So it's not really a, hey, here's my challenge. Oh my god. And then when I fall down here, I'm an idiot. Do this. Oh, and then that just despawns. That's what I'm talking about. That doesn't seem like it should be far enough away to despawn. Let's call it a level. I'd like to see a longer version of it because it's it's a cool idea of having that kind of two tier thing, kind of similar to the water level before this. But it needs to be more elaborate. But it's nice. Nice. All right. Good job, Mickey. Or FM Capper. On to the next one. All right, next up we have Night of the Living Shroom by It's Alex. Also known as Rabbit on the forum. I can't remember if I mentioned at the top of this, but these are all from the Waypoint forums. <laughs> I think I did. We're a few in now. Worth reminding people. There'll be a link to the forum under this in the description. And also, like, you know, all the codes and stuff like that. Alright. So this is cemetery themed. Zombie themed? Oh no, is this gonna... Oh no. I have bad feelings about this. I have a very bad feeling about this. Oh no. The nighttime version of this level adds poison mushrooms like in Mario Brothers uh, 2, like the Japanese one, that follow you. And they're very vindictive in following you. There's something cool about this game compared to the first Mario Maker is it really goes out of its way to add a bunch of stuff that was not in the old Mario games. Oh my god, no! No! Give me the good one. Get away from me. Oh god. They're escaping out of the ground. Oh god. This is a good theme for a level. Treating the poison mushrooms like zombies is smart. Can I jump over this? No. That would be fun. Alright, I don't think I need this. Oh, well, 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 never mind. I wanted it. Oh, the thump moves. Why does the thump move? That's not... What? I'm so confused by that. Is that another nighttime thing as well? The thwomps like follow you. Huh. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Ah. I got it the first time. So if I don't just run in here then, the thwomp will move over here. And I can do this. I do, just fall for it. Come on. Strange. Uh, so you can move the thump across. It doesn't seem to go down unless you're right under it. It's weird. Thumps are meant to stay still. That's what they're for. Right, let's do this. Oh, honestly, these ones aren't that scary. These guys that keep killing me. Ah, uh, uh, that was almost real good platforming. No. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Come on. This one does not want to fall down here. 
Uh, okay, well, whatever. They'll make this bit easier, I guess. Oh, cool. Is there stuff back here? Uh, scary stuff. Bunch of coins, though. Oh, uh, optional if you want more coins. I want coins. I don't need them. I'm not playing endless mode. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah, perfect. Yeah, it's a kind of... That looks really cool. Good job to... It's Alex. Rabbit on the forums. Good use of theming. Level looks really cool. It's fun. There's no like... I, the one maybe minor I should have is that last little vertical jump it was kind of hard to do at all. If you don't have the mushroom in particular, I don't know how you'd do that. Uh, beat it. But overall, really great level. I really liked it. All right, next up we have Ghost Ship from Megame or Megam. I don't know how you might pronounce that. Uh, but that's also their name on the forum. There's two from this guy, or I'm going to assume guy because beard, but I shouldn't do that. Um, yeah, so the two levels back to back from this person. So we will do this one first. Then we'll jump into the next one. At the time, they didn't have any plays. So, I like to think the Waypoint community has helped them get a bunch of plays. Oh no, the nighttime version of the airship theme makes Goomba swim, which is odd. And also, everything really act like it's underwater. Oh, I'm liking this. Leave me alone. Uh, we have more on and off switch stuff up here. It's definitely the popular thing at the moment. Oh, why did I do that? That's good at least. Alright, what are we doing? Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, let's do this. Ah. Oh, I'm just gonna eat the hat. I don't know if that's the best way to do that, but it was the fastest. Oh no, I messed up already. This is good demon though, putting the the um, ghost house inside of the airship stuff makes it look real cool. It's a good, good trick. I need to steal that. I'm not very good at making these kind of levels though, like these more puzzly ghost house feeling ones. Let's click these because I imagine there's a P switch. I'd be surprised if there isn't. There isn't, there's just a coin. Or a key, even. Why am I... Ah. Alright. I wonder if there was originally a P-switch. Oh god. Oh god. I need to... I need these boos over here. Come to me, my boos. Not you. You're a bit close. Give a guy some personal space. You damn ghosts. Get out of here. Freedom. Not freedom. Oh, there's the P switch. Hmm. I wonder if I needed to use this. Oh no. That's just mean. I was like, oh, this has been very generous, giving me a lot of space to avoid these ghosts, but 
Then all of a sudden, just bonsai bells everywhere. Well, two of them. Okay, so it didn't easy here. Neat. Is this freedom? Oh, sort of. A version of freedom. That's a cool looking ship, though. Oh, did I need to make that jump? I was sitting admiring the ship instead. Oh no. Do I need to make the jump at that point? There's bullet bells there. Maybe I'm meant to do something with those? I don't like snake blocks. You can do a lot of cool things with them. Like this section was really fun the first time. Oh my god, I messed up. Wait. Oh, is this... Does this reset it? Oh god. Didn't reset it. That's pretty cool though. I kind of want to see... I assume it does just reset eventually. Oh, no. I need to not die there for what I see it though. Right. Let's see. I assume this just teleports me back somewhere else. Like I've been already. No. Oh my god. Is it even possible to survive this? There must be a way. There's got to be a better way. I mean, the better way, I guess, would be actually doing the level the proper way. But they put this secret in here. And I don't think it was just to kill you. Because so far the level's been relatively fair. Come on. Alright. I think this just takes you back somewhere. Ooh. Soft lock. Oh, because... Oh, I did it too. You can jump up here. Well, that's an issue. That's not a level design issue. That's a Mario Maker issue. We start again. Get past these goombers. Yeah, yeah, I'm not scary sick time. All right, goodbye, dry bones. Thanks for killing me. the hit on this one though if I do this. I need to actually do this jump properly. Easy. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright, let's do this properly this time. I do still want to see what's down that way though. So maybe I will redo that. Without soft locking. Uh, right. Mario Maker is such a great game, and there's so many combinations of things. But that one's one you should probably have tested for. Because it's not really even that complex or, like, uncommon. It's literally just... There was something you could jump on that took you out of the area. Hey, boo. This is gonna go poorly for me, isn't it? over here. Oh no! Ah, that was too... I need to not get into the corner like that. Alright, swimming Goombas. Ghost Goombas. I mean, really, this just makes me remember that Luigi's Magic 3 is coming out later this year, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, I only played bits of the previous games, but they were cool. Okay, so I need to jump. I may make that jump when it's kind of backing off. I've got fire. Ho, ho, ho. And it's useless. Useless, I tells you. That was. Way better than I expected it to be. Or intended it to be, really. Alright. Oh well, let's lose my health. Oh. 
I really botched this one. I half expected me to just jump into the way of that cannonball based on how I've been doing this so far. Alright. Alright, let's try to go the other way again. I still think it's probably just going to reset at some point. Oh, I already messed up. I need to run and jump instantly. I need this before the P-Switch runs out as well. Oh no, I don't. I need the P-Switch to run out. Or I can do that. I always forget that. Okay, don't jump! Let's see where this goes. Oh, that's the top of that bit. Okay, that's fine. That makes sense. So it does let you skip that section. Oh god, I lost the fire instantly. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's a lot of bullet bell jumping. I underestimated that. I'm going to do it that way because it's faster. And you get fire from it. It's the better way to go. I don't care if it's intended. Oh, I can't do this now. I don't care if it's intended. It's the. I mean, it, it was made. I originally thought it was going to be a way of being like, hey, I accidentally fell off. So this resets you up so that you can get back to where you meant, meant to be. But instead, it's clearly a secret shortcut. Well, super short, just lets you skip a snake block, which I'm happy for. All right. This isn't going to go well. This isn't going to go well at all. I can't do this. Oh, I missed all of them. It's stupid. Why am I not better at this game? I played so much of it. Dozens of hours. Oh, well, not dozens. Have I played enough that the in a, uh, the switches thing will tell me? Oh god. Let's quickly check it. Nope. First played ten days ago. Useless. Useless, I tells you. Uh, remember the 3DS that we were capable of just telling you how long you've played games for? Good old days. I don't even like a 3DS. Maybe a bit harsh on the 3DS. I'm gonna just hang here for a bit. Look at this boo. Blow my hay fever nose. Oh, only the top row of them are gone. Sometimes. All right. We have a bunch of them now. And not enough. Ah. There's gotta be an easy way to do this. It's overcomplicating it somewhere, right? All right, I shouldn't stand there. I keep wanting to jump. Oh no, can't hang from that one. Oh, I'm messing this up so much. Let's just wait here. Got a decent amount of them. Get lost, boo. Oh, let's risk it. I'm so gonna die. Oh, how did I deal with that? I need to be on one of the top ones at the end. Well, I botched this. 
This time up. That's so close. It's a good level. I'm just bad at it. It's the continuing theme of this show. Uh, come on. Right. Oh, this game's so good. The fact that you can just make something like this. Level is so elaborate like this. I messed up. I want to stand on that block again. Here we go. Stand here. Watch the boo. Wait for a bit. Is this guy going to be smart enough to just hit my feet? He is. Thank you. That should be enough of them, right? I think it is. I'm going to risk it. Oh, they don't stay spawned. Oh, wherever I did it. I went too far. I did it too good. Oh, that level's good. Very smart use of both. Uh, like the ship stuff and the oh my god ghost houses I'm forgetting everything today I'm stressed out smart that's a cool idea alright and since the next level is by this same user we will go in through this way and if they have more courses, we're going to ignore them. But the one we are looking for is... Tricky Switchy. We will probably come back for the wall jump challenge later. If I were to guess, they probably post it later in the thread. This has an even lower completion rate, which is scary. It's short and sweet though, apparently. God, oh, I need to make that jump, okay, this time on it, what, how, how do you do that, oh that's not what I want, ah, this level's just mean, on off switches were a mistake, okay they weren't, you can make some cool stuff. I look forward to people making more elaborate things with them. I think that's gonna happen. That people are gonna find ways to really like break this game. Use no off switches. And it'll be cool. Because people found entire ways to like program real basic things in Mario Maker 1. Uh, by, I forget how they exactly you did it. But there was something you could do with a tower of Goombas. And if you towered them in a specific way, then the top one didn't count or something. And you could use it to basically be like an on-off switch, basically. <laughs> People used it for opening doors like an on-off switch. So you don't need that anymore. But people went through all that effort to do that. So now we have actual on-off switches. I bet people are going to make some cool stuff. Not that this isn't cool, but I mean like more crazy elaborate, like, oh my god. This is a cool little level though. It's hard though. I almost swore. Oh, I said it swears. Ah! That jumper is up against the wall is so mean. I can't do it consistently. You have to hit it on the left so you have enough space to land. I keep doing this as well. I bet I'm going to get to the end of this first time and run out of time. Oh my god, right, that's fine. I wasted so much time, I should have just died there anyway. I'm definitely going to get to the end of this level and just run out of time, right? There we go. Oh, thank god I missed that. Oh, I need to jump instantly once I hit the blue one. I don't think I even hit the blue one there, though. I think I just fell. I need to aim a bit further. To the left. Right, let's do this. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, that's that's just mean. <laughs> Alright. 
a dead. I must be near the end though. I missed that shell. So I need to use that shell. It looks like there's another one though. I don't even catch the shell. Like ah! First time I've hit that. Looks like first time everyone's hit that based on the crosses. Oh, uh, no. That was silly. I don't usually hit that either. Right. Over this one, under this one. Nope. Okay. Fine. Jump, jump, jump. Jump. Nope. Ah. I need to run and jump up to the other one. Why do I keep doing that? Doesn't make any sense. Jump, jump, fall, jump. <laughs> no! How do you hit that? I don't understand. This is mean. It's being mean to me. Alright. Nope. Second time. I think I've had that one. Oh, I just know I'm finally going to get to the end of this and run out of time on like the last jump or something. Nope, too early. I need to jump after that. This one, though. This is the one. Yep, nailed it. And that's it, we did it. Don't need any more. Oh my god. Oh no! Okay. I get so fed up with that intro. Oh, the time warning thing. I get it, my time is low. Jump, jump, jump. Can I actually hit this for once? Yes. Oh, and I got the shell again. Oh, and I don't need it. I do this. I was so worried I was going to hit by that. This thwomp is going to mess me up, isn't it? Ah! No time gets me first. Ah. Oh. I can't change time. Time change me. Right. This time. <laughs> nope. Not even close. Not even remotely close. That's a good point though, actually. I can... I can just head it on the way down. That second one should really be forced to teach you to do that. So we can do this. Ah, oh, bad throw earlier. And I'll fall into the lava. That's bad. Really, I should jump at the last block, but I need to speed up is the thing. I don't have a lot of time, and there seems to be a decent amount of level left. Oh, ho, ho. almost good. Almost. Nope. This time though. This is a rare example of a level where I'm enjoying it more every time I die. Right, that's, nope. That thwomp is mean. It is explicitly put there to trick you into thinking it's hitting buttons. And that's the first time I've fallen for it. But I did fall for it. It's cruel. Nope. First I've done that in a while. I will finish this level. I shall do it. Even if my controller runs out of battery in the process. I... Wait, what? I don't think that was part of the plan. But hey, it helps here. 
No! No! <sighs> so I need the swamp to definitely fall. Because that last lane was blue. I could probably jump to that pipe though. It was pipe, wasn't it? I don't know if it's a pipe, that means there's a whole another section. It can't be that long though. There's literally not enough time for it. Ah! I had a cool hat that one time. My hat was so cool. I don't think that was intentional. Damn it. I'm getting worse. Okay. Okay. Going insane. Uh, this will probably be the last one for this video, but I'm going to record some more and do a second video as well. Or a seventh? How many of these have I done? Too many, some might say. Not me, but someone might say it. Damn it. Someone that doesn't like Mario Maker and or me would say it. Okay. I'm doing the short jumps and doing them poorly. The D-pad on this controller is very good. I don't have controller issues to complain about. Other than this controller flashing red and it scaring me. Oops. Which will eventually happen. It's eventually gonna die. I'm gonna switch to one of my other like four eight bit door controllers because they make very good controllers. And I'm a sucker and buy them all. The only issue is the others are loud. As good as their controllers are, the buttons are very clacky. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. Damn it. I think I just need to jump and throw I need to stop for the second there. I can't do it. I did it once and that was it. I'm hoping that there's enough leeway in the timing for this that I can, you know, spend the time doing this poorly. Uh, you can almost make that jump. I wonder if you can make that jump, actually. Questions for another day. That was lucky. That was less lucky. Okay. I'm gonna keep hitting my head against this wall until I get through. So, oh, nope, that was stupid. Well, I've got a hat now. If only you could flip it upside down and use it like a boat. Which you can do with dry bones. Dry bone shells can do that. And they can ride on lava. Oh, I almost hit that and that would have been bad. Nope! Dude, don't try to rush through it. I can't do that. I mean, I might be able to do it, but I'm not going to be able to do it. Someone better than me could probably do it. They could probably make that jump. That was too early. I got scared. I got scared to jump. I don't know why. It's not a normal fight or flight response. Well, I guess Ken is a Mario, because that's how you harm enemies. It is your only means of defense until you have Fire Flower. No! No! I bet if I kept the speed up, I could just jump that. Alright, this time I'm going to try that. If I make it that far. I'm going to try to skip this bit. I keep messing up. Jump. 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 Oh, I need to fall and then jump. I can't. I can't. It's not. It's too close, but also too far away. It 
is well positioned to stop you doing exactly what I'm trying to do. Well, that was easier than I've been making it. That was harder than I've been making it. Damn. Alright. So if I try to just keep running and not do that. Go jump earlier than that. Someone made a level using these on off switches. There was like. So in the previous Mario Maker, people made a ton of music levels. They've done it in this as well. But it was more of a thing in the previous level, eh, Mario Maker. And they do this because music blocks can, when they're at certain heights, make certain noises. If something hits on them, so you place a bunch of enemies bounce off them and you make music. It's quite cool. Someone used on off switches to make a rhythm game doing that. So they had the music playing and then on the beats, if you're running along with it properly, it, you have to jump to hit the on off, otherwise the floor falls out. It's very smart. I probably won't do a video on it because I'm focused on the waypoint stuff. But if any of the waypoint guys are crazy enough to do that, then great, I'll cover it and die over and over like this. Oh my god. Right. I'm gonna stop overcomplicating it. That was bad. That was just bad. This level definitely encourages you to not stop running. And it works at its best when you're doing that. Swamps aren't really killing me much anymore. This one up here might be able to- This- How do you do that without getting hit by it? How? It must be possible I did it before. Or did I get hit by it but I was wearing a shell? Should I just go back and get the shell? Should I use my precious, precious time? That's definitely not what I should do there. I just wanted to wear a cool hat for the rest of his life. Ah, uh, no. This time. Jump, jump. 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 Nope. I don't know how you do this. There doesn't seem to be a point that I can jump it or throw it. It makes sense. Oh, uh, I forgot to jump. And not long after I said the thumps weren't killing me anymore. I was too deep in thought. Try to figure this level out. Ah, uh, that's definitely not how you do it. This time. I'm gonna die in the first jump. Second jump. Ah, <sighs> right. This time. Jump, jump. Jump. Throw. Miss. Die. Break controller. I don't really get angry at games. Even ones like this. This, I don't know. I'm not an angry person as it turns out. Alright, here we go. That was bad, but I could have made that work. Maybe I should just skip that shell. Maybe I should just wear as a hat. Alright, Mario, you're getting a fancy hat. It's part of the plan this time, not an accident. Oh my god. Oh my god! Is that intentional? Oh, you need to get it to hell over there. Oh, it's a trick. 
This level's way smarter than I give it credit for. You monster. It's so cruel. Oh, but no wonder I struggled to get this working. I mean, I still think you're meant to hit that. But I don't think the thwomp ever comes into play. Oh no, because then it'd be blue. So you must need to... This must be the intended way of doing it. Oh. I'm thinking too much. I've got to stop thinking and just do. Oh, there's so much this level. It's so good though. Okay, get my- ah! Trying to put the hat on without stopping moving is messing me up. Ah. Annoying. Damn. Okay. Stupid mistakes. Ah! I'm not giving up till I beat this level. Even if I'm making stupid mistakes. Even if this video is 40 hours long. Well, maybe not that, because I need to go work. If it goes much longer, I will cut it. And I'll come back to it at the end of every one of these videos <laughs> until I beat it. But a training montage of other levels basically to get to this. Defeat my nemesis. Ah! I don't think I need to put it on as a hat. I think that's just me being silly. But I want to. And that's the important thing. Sometimes you just gotta do things that you enjoy. Like wear a silly hat. I almost forgot to throw that. That would have been silly as well. Oh. That was close though. That thwomp positioning is just cruel. So many trick thwomps. I botched both those jumps. Every time I mess up that first jump, I always mess up that second jump as well. Here we go. I forgot that time. I said I was good. I almost forgot last time, and I actually forgot this time. I don't know why. Why does that happen? Why are human brains bad? Or at least mine. I think most of them are. We make silly mistakes, because we're silly people. Right. Ah! My hat! The hat doesn't matter, because the thwomp doesn't come down. I'm overthinking it. I just want the hat. I don't need it. But I do want it. If I can finish this with Mario in a cool hat, I'd be very happy. Okay. Jump, jump. Uh, I need to jump less. Okay. That. You. You come with me. Nope. That. Conveyor belt. First time I died to it, but hey, it's a first for everything there. Okay, we got this. The rest of the video is just going to be me 
pep talk in myself. Oh man. This game is definitely going to end up my game of the year list. But another thing that's probably going to end up my game of the year list came out the same time as it and I barely played it because this is so good. Oh, that was just luck. I don't need you. Uh, which is Judgment. The latest Yakuza game. Yakuza? Yakuza? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's not technically one of those, but it's the same engine, same devs, and it is it's one of those. I really love that series, so... Oh. Really, the only breaks I've been taking from this game have been to play Valkyria Chronicles 4, because I've tried to finish it before Fire Emblem comes out. I mean, they're not that similar games, but that kind of RPG tactics hybrid is something that I only really have space for one. Oh no! Oh, if I had the spin jump, if this was world, this would be so much easier. Which is why it's not world. Because this level was designed by an evil genius. I bet this level's really easy if you're like good at speedrunning. Ah, I needed to make that jump. That's close though. If I was wearing a hat, I could eat the hat. I think. I think the hat counts as a hat. And I could let the thwomp go through me. And make it all a bit easier. But I would need to put the hat on. Which I've so far failed at doing. Except for once. Which I'm not entirely sure is the point of that shell. But. Skipping that section, it seems to be what the shell is for, seems to be going well. Given how speed focused this whole thing is, it wouldn't surprise me if you're meant to skip this. Oh! Every time! I botch it! The hell was weighing me down. Too late. Like half those crosses are mine at this point. You can see why it's had a low completion rate. It's hard. It's good though. It's not a... Oh no. Uh, Mario stayed alive and I still made sure he died. He was just trying to survive. Jump, jump! Okay. Nope, not okay. I wonder if you can get hit by the thwomp when you're wearing the helmet. I feel like I did before, like the first time I got up there. Oh, um, I was too busy thinking. Okay, this will be to test that. No, I won't. I'm just going to try to do it. I'm not going to be crazy. That must be the end of the level, right? There can't be much more. Because the timer's so short. Oh, God. I don't know how low it is by the time I get there. It must be under 10, right? Right? Almost forgot to throw it again. Just like all the best runs. Uh, I forgot to do the jump! Okay. I just need to remember to jump. It's all just memory. I'm bad at it. I'm bad at reactions. Reactive. Right. Rambling. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to finish Valkyrie Chronicles 4 before Fire Emblem comes out because I have so many like RPG tactic -y games unfinished. I can't really justify adding another one, but I also really want Fire Emblem. That made things way worse. 
It looks so good. Um, and then also... Marvel Ultimate Alliance is coming out. I want that. I can't justify it. I have really long games like Valkyria Chronicles. But I've got pretty far in it now, so I think I can do it. Oh god. I... Did it? I did the... You're tricking me. Oh, does the timer just stop caring once the axe is in screen? Because I feel like I ran out of time there. It's definitely zero then. Oh, that is brutal. <laughs> That's the hard, one well, of the hardest levels I've played. Possibly the hardest. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. So, good job. Megam, Megan, Megan. Ugh. I'm not going to try and guess. I'm bad at names. I'm sorry. And that's going to do it for another Mario Maker stream or video. No stream. Maybe someday I'll stream. Uh, like, subscribe, all that. Oh man, I went the whole episode without swearing. Anyway, do all that stuff. Links below to the forum and codes for all of these levels I've played. And there'll be another one of these up soon. See ya.